Providence's busiest bridges is closed. The Washington Bridge needs emergency repairs. And that is making travel in the Northeast very, very difficult right now. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains the impact here in Connecticut. Joan Roche took the scenic route to get from Cape Cod to Connecticut. Over to 25 and then went up 495. I hit 95. To avoid I, this. But it did kind of blow my mind a little bit when I knew I was going the next day. I delayed my trip by a day. Providence's Washington Bridge, now closed and considered unsafe, is having a big impact on Connecticut. Both visitors and business owners are having to find other ways to get around New England. I heard, you know, it was going to be a massive delay, and I know that area, and there, there's just no way you can get all those people off of that bridge through Providence and back on again with any real chance of being non-chaotic. Brian Worth owns Mystic Transportation. He has a client in Bristol he sends a driver to once a week. Ordinarily, that driver takes the Washington Bridge. Not anymore. Every time we go to this particular customer, we're going to have to budget on a whole bunch of time. To make sure Connecticut doesn't have a similar situation, the state DOT has a team of inspectors who checks out bridges like these to make sure everything is good to go. It's easier, it's quicker, it's more cost effective to do continuous repairs than it is to replace an entire bridge. Those inspectors are responsible for about 4,500 bridges. They're all evaluated every one to two years and given a rating. In Connecticut, only about 3% were considered poor. Those problems quickly solved. Back in Rhode Island, a few bypass lanes will open this weekend on the bridge to help alleviate some of the congestion. Long-term work there is expected to take months or more. I'm going to hit the same way back because it worked well for me. Luke Hydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.